1,000 horsepower. It's a nice round number, and that's exactly what we're going to try and squeeze out of this 427 cubic inch. And we're going to put it in our latest recruit in the Project Car Platoon, Project Biting the Bullet. It's a 1965 Mustang that's destined to be a wild street strip monster. So follow along in this segment as we complete the long block build, strap it down to the engine dyno, and see if we can hit that magic number. Let's start back with what this 427 was designed for. It's called Biting the Bullet. Now, Quest was to walk a fine line between all-out horsepower and then the reliability needed to cruise on the streets. In the previous segment, we assembled our low compression short block at QMP. It features a Dart Iron Eagle 9500 deck block and a 4125 bore. And it's been fitted with a set of Ross 9 to 1 pistons and Eagle H-beam rods and a forged crank. The cylinder heads and the valve train are integral parts that keep the entire process of combustion under control. Think a gun to control ammo. The ammo itself is worthless without an organised and controlled method of delivery. The cylinder heads are the main organs when it comes to controlling new air and fuel, as well as exhausting the spent fuel. Our cylinder head of choice was the Dart Pro One 225cc CNC cylinder heads. They feature full CNC runners that flow a lot of air and a lot meaning 325 CFM on the intake and 235 CFM on the exhaust at 700 lift. The assembled heads come fitted with high quality components, including dual valve springs and titanium retainers, though you can get the heads bare if you have your own combination in mind. Backing the dart heads are a set of Crowers Extreme Duty 1 to 6 ratio stainless steel shaft mount rockers. The shaft mount rockers heavily resist flex under load while keeping the rotating weight low onto the valve. The needle bearing tip option further reduces resistance and valve guide wear. Since our 427 is designed to see a lot of street driving, we again turn to Crower for their hydraulic roller tie bar lifters. These lifters feature a redesigned body and bearing for superb longevity. Tying the rocker to the lifter is a Crower one-piece push rod. The Crower Custom Ground Hydraulic Roller Camshaft features a 260-266 duration of 50, 619 lift at intake and exhaust, and a 114 degree lobe separation. Capping off the heads are a set of Dart's trick-looking fabricated aluminum valve covers. Take a deep breath. Now imagine taking that same breath with the lungs of an Olympian. A direct line of sight and a port volume large enough for the airflow that you need is critical to a boosted application. We chose Edelbrock's Super Victor intake manifold because it has everything that we need. To enhance this further, Ford Performance Solutions hand ported our intake for a smoother flow over the casting and an extra 45 CFM of airflow. Providing the air fuel mixture to the intake manifold is an AED 950 CFM blow through carburetor. AED wet flows and designs their carburetors specific to a customer's combination so that it performs the best it can right out of the box on both the street and strip. The sparks come from none other than MSD with their mechanical billet body pro race distributor. Accompanying the distributor is a set of MSD 8.5mm plug wires. This setup will deliver all the power we need to make over 1,000 horsepower. For our power adder, we turn to Paxson and their all new Novi 2500 supercharger. It features a redesigned compressor wheel that allows it to produce over 1,300 horsepower and 30 psi of boost. The supercharger feeds Paxton's new power hat, which has been engineered to distribute air evenly across the top of the carburetor. Exhausting the additional off-acceleration boost pressure from the system is Vortex Max Flow BV57 blow-off valve. 
Acting as the glue to hold all our components together are a full line of ARP bolts and studs, as well as Felpro and Kometic gaskets that were supplied by netgaskets.com. make a lot more if we're going to sit here and tune it on the motor, but uh, it'll be good, you know, ready to really put the blower on and see what it really makes with uh, all the right stuff on it. Seven hundred and thirty horsepower, six ninety in torque. Horsepower, 10 pounds of boost, 6.7 to 10 pounds of boost, so got that handled. We've made our 1,030 horsepower, so we're making plenty of power and everything, and uh, at 880 foot-pounds of torque on the street should be completely undrivable, so it's going to be definitely a, uh, a, a fun, well, I don't know, fun or dangerous or a little of both or whatever it's going to be, but it ended up being a, an excellent motor and I'm really happy with the way everything worked, everything, everything came around real well and I think it's a great piece and it's going to be real fun.